Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're looking at the game called Into the Breach from developer called Subset Games. Their other installment was a game called Faster Than Light, which was a masterpiece in itself, I must say. Into the Breach is a turn-based strategy game. Main point is to defend structures from invading aliens and occasionally you'll be given additional task of defeating a small boss, which in return will give you corporate reputation. You can then use that reputation to buy different upgrades for your mechs. Let's start with gameplay. It's straight down addictive. I've bought this game yesterday and I played it for 5 hours straight. Non-stop. It has a reward system and it's polished and balanced throughout the whole game and it keeps you hooked and entertained from start to finish. Even if you are defeated, you'll just jump right into a new game and start over. Once you do come to the end of the game, you can unlock new and unique set of mechs with coins you get from completing achievements. It's like a cake at the end of already delicious meal. It's brilliant. It has the same style as FDL had, and with that you can never go wrong in my opinion. These guys really have a thing for design. It fits perfectly. There is a small story going on behind all of this, but it's just not worth mentioning. And the same can be said for characters. I doubt you'll remember any of them throughout the game. It also features some solid soundtracks, which fit perfectly in the midst of Alien Carnage. Now let's jump into exploring. As I mentioned before, at the end of the game you can choose from 7 additional mech sets. Each set contains 3 mechs. One set costs you from 3 to 6 coins, which in total gives you 21 unique mechs to play with. But we're not done yet. After saving an island you can also spend your reputation points on items, passive abilities, cores, power or pilots. And speaking of pilots, each of them has a level up system and is given a random bonus after gaining a level. There is also a huge map variety which seems to be randomly generated. It ranges from desert, ice, mountains, industrial and volcano environments. Each of these has different mechanics and hazards. You can destroy a dam to flood enemies with water, throw them into lava, use local artillery to blast them or punch them into a mountain dealing additional damage. Altogether there is a lot to unpack here. Even though we saw a lot of turn-based strategy games, I would say this game is unique in what it does and how it plays. And the final question, is this game worth of your money? I would say definitely yes. It will keep you entertained for many hours to come, so go on Steam and give these guys support they deserve. A big thank you from me to Subset Games for making this game. You guys are really pushing the industry in the right direction. Ladies and gentlemen, Into the Breach is a good game. I'll see you next time.